Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, I'm here today with another laser cut blank from Rick Cobb. This one was also developed by Kenneth Wines. It's his design, um, gorgeous blank. I have been doing these videos every other week for a couple of weeks now, and I've been getting a lot of people replying. People are loving these blanks, but the biggest concern people have is, oh my God, I'm so scared to turn them because they're so delicate. And I want you guys to know these blanks turn pretty much the same as any solid wood blank. If you take a piece of maple or a piece of walnut and put it on your lathe, that's pretty much how this blank is going to turn. You do need to do a little bit of prep work. Now I've done a video on how I prep these blanks and the one thing I do before I start turning this blank is I soak it in CA and there's two reasons for that. The first reason is it's going to lock all these pieces together and then the CA is going to go down between these pieces and it's going to fill the gap between the pieces and that's also going to adhere to the tube. So I'm going to have a nice, um, my blank is going to be nicely adhered to the tube and the pieces are going to be adhered to each other. If you do that little bit of extra work, take the few minutes to do that, you're going to turn this blank and it's going to be as easy to turn as a walnut or maple blank. And I guarantee you, when you put this on a pin kit and you pull this pin kit out and you pull out a, the same pin kit with a walnut or a maple blank, nobody's going to notice the walnut or maple blank. Everybody is going to notice this blank and they're not going to believe you made that pin. So take a chance, guys. Up your turning game. Go over to Rick's website. Purchase yourself at least one of these blanks. Turn it and see what I'm talking about. You will be hooked on laser cut blanks and you will want more blanks. And if you do go to his website, please tell him that you learned about him from RJB Woodturner. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Let's uh, get to turning this blank. As I just mentioned, prior to turning all laser cut blanks, we're going to give this a quick coat of thin CA. You can see how easy this is. It goes on nice and quick, nice and easy. And I'm just going to rotate it to keep that CA rolling around the blank and covering the entire surface. After about 30 to, I'm sorry, after about 60 to 120 seconds, uh, the blank will start looking dry in areas. I'll hit it with a quick shot of activator and we immediately begin turning our blank. Now, people have asked me, um, can I turn these with carbide? Yes, you can. Carbide is a little more aggressive than, uh, than uh, the skew that I'm using. So what I recommend is if you have like a magic skew, you'll be fine because the magic skew uh, cocks the cutting edge, the blade, at about a 45 degree angle. If you're using easy wood tools, they're great tools, they got great cutting edges on them, but I want you to lay it on your tool rest and I want you to cock it up to 45 degrees so that the tiniest portion of that blade is touching your blank. The smaller the contact with a carbide blade, the cleaner and smoother the cut, and you'll do just fine turning these. Um, I've also seen people, I haven't done this, but I've seen people use a bowl gouge on these, and they turn quite nicely with a bowl gouge. Uh, so anything you turn a normal pin with, you can turn this with. Now we've been rotating for about 60 seconds. I'm gonna keep rotating, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of activator on there. Now you can see it starting to bubble as it cures. Okay, I got a little more bubbling than I want. I probably should have waited a little bit longer before I hit it with the activator, but I'll be able to clean that right off with my skew. Let me get set up, sharpen my skew, and we'll be right back to begin turning this blank. I hope when you watch the turning and the sanding portion of this video, you saw just how easy this blank was to turn. That's pretty much all there is to it. They are super simple. 
and they are incredibly amazing looking when they're finished. Cleaning this plank with a little denatured alcohol, you notice I got my non-stick bushings on there. We're about to apply some CA. Uh, I will come back and show you what this plank looks like after it's polished up and ready to go into a kit. My blank has a CA finish on it. It's been micro meshed. I'm at the point now of just putting a little wax on here and then we're gonna buff it on the buffing wheels and we'll be ready to assemble it. So I didn't do anything different than I do with a normal blank. I treated it just like any other blank and uh, it turned pretty much just like any other blank. So I'm strongly urging you not to be nervous about these blanks, not to be scared of these blanks. They're just pin blanks really beautiful pin blanks, really intricate pin blanks, but they're just pin blanks. So uh, once again, give one of them a try. See what you think. I'm going to get this one buffed up on the wheels and we'll meet you at the assembly table. We are ready for assembly. Before we do, I want you to take a look at this blank. I did nothing special. I treated it like I would treat any normal blank and it is absolutely gorgeous. I have an elegant Monarch gunmetal and chrome pin kit from the Classic Nib that I'm going to install this blank onto. I will put uh, a link to Classic Nib in the uh, description of this video. But before we press anything together, I've got a deburring tool and we're gonna deburr both ends of this blank. This just helps sort of chamfer the inside of the brass tube and allows me to more cleanly press the components into the blank. I'm gonna look around the blank and decide. The blank is perfect. With one exception, there's a little bit of a color in the wood there. So I think that was a natural mother nature thing. So I think I'm gonna put the uh, cap right, right there to kind of hide that little discoloration. And once again, it's like I said, it's just a mother nature thing. I'm just adjusting as I press to make sure the clip goes right down the center of the uh, walnut. These kits are extremely well machined and they assemble incredibly well. Gorgeous looking uh, fit there with the cap and the blank. You can see that discoloration I'm talking about a little better. It's just a dark spot in the maple. Doesn't hurt anything, but uh, I don't want it to stand out. So I, I ran the uh, clip right next to it. Push the spring up and get this little ball off the end of the refill. We'll drop that into the nib section of the pin. Gonna put the transmission on. Snug her down nice and tight. Work it a couple of times to get the uh, grease worked into the mechanism. And then we'll just slide our pin together. And with the exception of my fingerprints from the grease all over the pin, uh, we have a gorgeous pen. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And these uh, Elegant Monarchs, the transmissions work so smooth on them. This is my favorite kit of all time. I love it, and uh, I make a ton of them. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I really hope that you take my word for just how simple laser-cut blanks are to turn. Don't let them intimidate you. If you can turn a wood blank, you can turn a laser-cut blank. They take a tiny bit more preparation up front, but beyond that, I did nothing different than I would do with any standard wood blank. I want to thank you for joining me at the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, and have a great evening.